So you're asking yourself, hey, what's going on out west and how is this going to affect me in the east? Well, it's going to affect all of us, folks. It's not just going to affect just one part of the country. What's going on out west is just ungodly. It's unbelievable. And it's a little bit scary. All in the same token. Now, I don't want to sit here and be the bearer of bad news. But I want to bring you the news so that you can be prepared. Now, the first thing you want to make sure that you are doing is make sure and you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's and you are getting prepped and ready. All right. Because the storm's coming. May not be the storm like what they're getting out west, those fire storms. But the storm is brewing because it's all going to be a ripple effect and we're all going to feel it. You're going to feel it in your pocketbook. You're going to feel it in your pantry. You're going to feel it at the grocery store. You're going to feel it when you go fill your car up. It's all going to come back around. The storm's brewing, but you have the time, a little time, to be prepared. Your time is dwindling quick, folks. It's only a matter of time. Now, with what's going out west... You know, everything is mega now. We have the mega fires. We have the mega drought. You know, I mean, it's just everything is going haywire in the West. All right. You know, last time I looked, there were 68 fires that were burning out West. And some of them are consuming so much land per day. It is just ridiculous. Uh, homes, businesses, uh, farm fields, farms, everything are just going up in smoke. I mean, uh, these firefighters, they can't even control it anymore. They're trying to put in wind breaks and in the winds and everything else with the extreme mega temperatures. There's another one, you know, um, being in the triple digits all the way from the Mexican border all the way up, way up into Canada. For God's sakes, what's going on here, folks? You know, is that going to be like the whole new Sahara Desert out there? You might have just a little bit of Greenland if you're lucky up around Seattle. You know, I mean, it's just unbelievable what is going on. And if this isn't enough to scare somebody in to making sure that you're prepped and ready, I don't know what it is. Because this is on our home turf. We're not talking to some about something halfway around the world. You know, we, I mean, you just look at all those major floods they just had over in England. All right. Talk about climate change, however you want to, whatever your view is, it doesn't matter. All right. What matters is. These things are happening on a daily basis now, okay? It's not like once every, you know, a couple of months or something. On a daily basis, there's something majorly going on here. And one of them is, the, you know, we got the mega fires, the mega drought, the mega heat waves. We got those astronomical floods that they've never had before in the history. There's over, what, 130 some odd people already confirmed dead. Thousands are missing Villages are completely wiped away and everything else. I mean, it's just unbelievable, folks. Point being here is you got to make sure that you're prepared. Point is your time is running out. Because if you haven't noticed, the world is going haywire. Is this Mother Nature's way of saying, I'm taking everything back? Or is it the coming of God? One could only tell. I'm not judging either one, but something is going on. You got the climate is changing rapidly. They just came out with a new climate report this past week. NASA was involved in that with all these massive scientists and everything else. And a lot of people live along the coast, at least here in this country. Well, you might want to be buying a houseboat soon because the property that you own, if you're right on the water, is more likely going to be underwater at the rate that everything is melting between the South Pole and the North Pole. So it isn't looking good, folks. And it's, just, it's a proven fact. So you can call it whatever you want to call it. You can do whatever you want to do about it or, you know, whatever it is. The fact of the matter is there is just a lot of things going on and they're not getting better they're getting worse and they're happening more frequently than what they ever have before in the history 
of this world since they started keeping all this data. You know, the fires are worse, the storms are worse, the winters are worse. You know, it's colder in the winter now. The summertime is just triple digit heat out west. You know, you got the mega drought, the mega fires, the, the mega heat, the massive floods and everything else. Um, well, you know, we've already had a few volcano eruptions this year in a couple of other countries. And uh, what's next? I think we're due for a nice big earthquake. Wouldn't that just be the icing on the cake right about now? Especially if they head out west. We just don't know, but everything is changing. And sometimes I tend to believe that Mother Nature is going to try to take back some of what is hers. Because she's really tired of everybody just cutting everything down and building and building and building. And nobody's replacing anything. And in the end, she'll win. But until then, you still have to survive, right? For you and your family. So you want to make sure that you're getting all your stockpile, whatever it is that you need to make sure that you're either topping off or if you're just starting out, you need to get on the ball, folks, because two things, supplies are running low and things are costing more. The longer you wait, the more it's going to cost and the less chances are you're going to be able to get the supplies that you want to have in your arsenal. I have several different videos that can help you out in any of these different types of subjects. Go back and watch some of my playlists or anything like that, especially if you're new to this channel. And this way here, hopefully I can help you out, get you started on the right path to being prepared. Because in the end, folks, that's what it's all about. That's why I do this channel. That's why I do these videos to save your lives. So until next time. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Everybody keep prepping, thrive to survive, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.